Everyone is talking about ChatGPT, from top CEOs to everyday business people, from digital marketers to healthcare professionals, from content creators to artists, from programmers to historians, from teachers to students. The list is endless, you know. This is the first platform that has taken AI mainstream. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about Chad GPT, the new technology sensation that is taking the world by storm. If you are one of the tech savvy folks of the 21st century and observe of what's happening in the world or just a curious mind, chances are you've heard about OpenAI Chad GPT. Maybe you've even experimented with it or Maybe you're even using it and you're already having so much fun with it. For me, nothing in the world of technology has blown my mind like ChatGPT. It's a complete game changer. ChatGPT is a huge leap in technology. And just this morning when I was listening to the CEO of Microsoft, he said nothing in his 30 years of being in the tech industry, you know, has blown his mind just like chat gpt and this is someone who has worked with technology all of his life right and i'm hearing him say this and i was like wow if he can say this what about ordinary people like me and be like you and i right so this is quite fascinating and a huge leap in technology like i have already said chat gpt has taken the world by storm from africa to asia to the americas to europe and beyond everyone is fascinated by this technology. Chat GPT was released on November 30th, 2022, and it has become the fastest growing uh, platform and tech innovation in the history of tech. It took about 10 months to reach a million users with Facebook. It took about two and a half months to reach uh, a million users with Instagram, but Chat GPT took under five days and hit a million users so that is insane and for people who may still be asking what is chat gpt well chat gpt is an advanced chatbot launched by open ai foundation it is a state-of-the-art natural processing language tool driven by artificial intelligence technology that allows you to have human-like conversation and interaction with a chatbot that's just amazing so in simple terms chat gpt is a new ai chatbot tool that can answer questions whatever question you ask it, right? So it is capable of understanding natural human language and generating impressive dialogues and details. I personally am impressed with what I have experienced so far with ChatGPT. And ChatGPT is completely turning the world on its head and has given extra attention to artificial intelligence. You know, there were people that were not paying attention to AI, but right now it seems like everyone is talking about AI. ChatGPT has also given attention to chatbots and, and to technology in general in ways that has never happened before. You know, a lot of people are more aware of technology now, more aware of, 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 of artificial intelligence now than before thanks to ChatGPT. Everyone is talking about ChatGPT, from top CEOs to everyday business people, from digital marketers to healthcare professionals, from content creators to artists, from programmers to historians, from teachers to students. The list is endless, you know. This is the first platform that has taken AI mainstream and given the ease of use and the huge advantages of this platform over traditional internet search chat gpt attracted you know so many users and so so much attention you know in just a few weeks of being launched so giving it the fastest rate of adoption of technology adoption in the history of technology so far <laughs> So it is currently available for free to anyone with an internet connection and it is designed to be more user friendly. Um, there are talks of this will be monetized at some point and I don't know if the platform will continually remain open to everyone. I really don't have those details right now, but for now it is free to anyone with an internet connection. But let's see what happens as you know, time progresses. I hope it opens up to the public in some form, at least. When I started hearing OpenAI and ChatGPT, I was a bit confused on which is which. And so maybe you are like me and you're also wondering what is ChatGPT, what is OpenAI? Well, OpenAI is the name of the organization that invented ChatGPT, more like 
Facebook being owned by Meta. It was founded in 2015 as a research laboratory by Elon Musk and Sam Altman, who is now the current CEO, right? It was established as a non-profit research company that aims to develop and direct artificial intelligence in ways that would benefit humanity as a whole. Uh, but somehow it has since doubled its valuation to 29 billion from what I've heard. Whatever the case may be, whether they are for profit or not for profit, ChatGPT will forever be known as the technological innovation that took artificial intelligence mainstream and made it accessible to everyday people. Some people are also asking what's the difference between ChatGPT and other chatbots, right? But unlike other existing chatbots, ChatGPT uses generative AI technology, hence the acronym ChatGPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, right? So generative uh, AI is a type of artificial intelligence technology that creates its own original content by using its human-like comprehensive capabilities. This means that ChatGPT does not only give users existing data but it also gives um, unique data based on the conversation that you you've been having on the platform some people are asking um, silly questions and trying to trick uh, chat gpt but chat gpt gets only smarter with these silly queries and trick um, questions so it, it's almost like it has a mind of its own, <laughs> right? And unlike traditional chatbots, ChatGPT remembers what the user said earlier uh, in the conversation for follow-up questions. And it also rejects in a, in a inappropriate requests and challenges uh, incorrect responses. Again, it's like it has a mind of its own. So how does ChatGPT work for someone who hasn't tried it yet. Well, it works like a written dialogue between AI and an AI system and the person asking it questions. Uh, ChatGPT is trained by artificial intelligence and machine learning on, on a huge amount of data taken from the internet. The system is designed to provide information and answer questions through a conversation interface, right? So when you log in, you will it's quite easy to use. So ChatGPT technology has been trained to analyze large amounts of data, so much so that it can predict the word that you know may come next in the, in the conversation. And this explains why it can formulate cohesive sen sentences and produce human-like answers. And in the words of Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, he said the system is an early demo of what's possible. Soon you will be able to have helpful assistants that talk to you, answer questions, and give advice. Later, you can have something that goes off and does tasks for you. Eventually, you can have something that goes off and discovers new knowledge for you. This is what the CEO said, and the more I think about it, I'm like, we are already so fascinated and blown away by this demo that we have currently and he is saying this is what is to come right so it's quite insane and this is such an interesting time to be alive really to think of this is just a demo and more will be added to it as people are putting in information and things like that let's see what comes next also there's a question of is chat gpt the end of traditional uh internet search or the end of Google. And many people have described the technology as an alternative to Google because it is capable of going directly to the point and giving you almost exactly what you're looking for. And I really do agree with that school of thought, all right? Because traditional search engines or Google, it gives you millions and millions of options or, re or results um, when you are searching through something. When you ask Google a question, it gives you so many options. It can be overwhelming, but ChatGPT goes straight to the point and gives you a concise answer. <laughs> That's just amazing. It also gives you descriptions and answers and solutions to complex uh, questions, including solving coding challenges and generating accurate responses to exams. Um, exam queries and and all types of queries indeed to the point where there are talks in schools whether this should be allowed or not but that's a conversation for another day right and chat gpt interacts with users across the glo globe in in a conversational way 
at least to some degree it feels like you're talking to a person really so whether you are using chat gpt in africa or other parts of the world it gives you that sense of a human-like dialogue and many people are referring to chat gpt as a game changers for marketers programmers coders content creators artists uh, writers and many more professions because ChatGPT can help with almost any task by providing guidance and improvements and I think this is really true. It helps improve your creativity and all of that. There's just so much that anyone at any profession or in any field can do with ChatGPT and the countless hours of research you can save on ChatGPT is mind-blowing. I think that's one of the most fascinating things for me. So again, what a time to be alive. Personally, I am excited about ChatGPT it is an opportunity to augment my creativity you know it's like having an assistant and a tutor who knows all languages and knows all topics programming included and I'm not even a programmer right so chat GPT makes things a lot easier it is like having an entire research team a personal teacher a copywriter a personal tutor at your fingertips that's how amazing it is so to conclude on my thoughts on this uh yes chat gpt is absolutely revolutionary in terms of possible applications that can come from this and they are both uh, opportunities and threats again that's a conversation for another day but if you are a person who has to trade your skill set for income in order to survive then you should be genuinely concerned and worried because the rate at which ai is coming I don't know if the world is ready for what's coming. So there appears to be a reckoning coming and change is happening way faster than many people can keep up. It seems like ChatGPT can work almost on its own, entirely on its own. So many organizations are going to try to cut cost down by getting rid of humans so but this is quite a unique time in human history and we have to aim to be the best as we, that we can as businesses and as individuals so that we can be able to use ai to provide value you know for the development of our civilization and prevent humanity from extinction really though chat gpt is already a global tech sensation it is still in its infancy this is still a test version the current version of chat gpt is a mass testing version of the platform to see areas of improvement and things like that so this is why the site crashes constantly the current version is not designed to accommodate millions of users at one time it's been quite fascinating to see what's happening i remember the first time i signed up on chat gpt it was down it, it, the system had crashed and i couldn't get it and i was like oh no it can't be happening i couldn't wait to try it because it was everywhere it was almost like everyone was talking about it so when i eventually tried it yeah I was blown away so it is really worth the hype i can't wait to see what comes next from this platform so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below again what a time to be alive thank you for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video